No, I think that's a really good answer because I think the follow up is really important because if you if I shared an idea and then no follow up and there's no mention of it later, then I'm not going to be participating because I don't I wouldn't think think that my idea is valid, right? Um, but even if it wasn't taken up and the idea was say, oh, we couldn't do it, but this is the reason why we couldn't do it, then there's much more investment because I'm willing to put forward something else, right? So I think it's really, really important. Also, it's talking about like the coaching element of that is um, follow-up. It's okay, where's the timeline? Where's the line in the sand? And when things are going to start happening? Because again, without timelines, it never doesn't happen. So I think, you know, almost you're looking back down the mountain, action steps are all critical for, you know, making these things happen. And this is what Synergy is about. So in the book, Stephen Covey, so I was having a read of it, talks about nature and how, you know, even nature works together. So if you've got two plants, he talks about it in one of his, in, in part of his book, two plants to get together, their roots intertwine. And because they're working together, the soil is actually more fertile. So it, they grow stronger when plants are together. I know some, you know, so what I'm trying to say here is that we should be doing more of this. And what I can give you an example of what I'm actually trying to do at the minute. And, and everyone you know here is that I'm passionate about coaching, right? Oh, really? I did not know <laughs> did that think about I'm you. Right? No, I did not know that right. about you. Uh, so at the moment, I am trying to really build this coaching culture. And, uh, and one of the steps I've taken to build synergy and to build collaboration is to actually, because at the moment I'm trying to bring all the coach, not just the coach, you, in, in our businesses or the business that, that, that I, well, the business I'm working at the minute, you know, we all have coaches and coaching is a real thing now. now. Um, it's, very, it's, it's quite a corporate word now, but it means different things to different people. But what I'm trying to do with our coaching is to, one, is the coach we're doing real coaching? And two, how do we, how do we get all the coaches together? Because synergy is about working together, right? So what's happening at the minute? We've got coaches in one area, we've got coaches one area. But they're working great and they're doing their work, but they're doing it in their own areas. They're not actually cross pollination. I call it. I don't know whether that's the thing, but it's a good I want term. them to. I like it. I want them to cross pollinate because I think you know something that could work in one area is probably going to work. It might work well in another area. And likewise, if, if one area's got a problem someone may have already come across that problem solved it and then could pass the best practice on in a coaching way so what i've developed is i've, I've used teams and what i've done is i've just put i've, I've put everyone through a program this it's a program that um, i run at this, uh, this 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 company i work for and um every time anybody goes through that there's probably about over a hundred people in this community i've put set up a teams chat and now i've set up and now we're sharing ideas in there i'm asking people to share stories and so what I've now I'm trying to do is get people to help each other through a coaching community. And so that is what we we that's what I'm building at the moment. Um and that for me is part of that synergy piece. Um and even when I'm running these sessions, I'm asking people to contribute and be honest. Cuz another part of synergy is actually to accept that not everyone's going to agree. And you know how you deal with disagreement could be a real it could either block you coming up to an even better idea and building an idea or actually you know if you start to go well i want my idea to be the best idea then that's when you block synergy you've got to work with those ideas and build and build and build until you come up with something maybe that's actually totally unique built off the back of maybe disagreement but it's respectful disagreement so off the back of that i do have something that will that will help um it's like a diagram um and i quite like it because you've got here if i put it onto the counter people can hear this you've got cooperation and trust and on there you've got the three levels there so really what this is talking about how we get high levels of trust i'll just start to tick to real quickly so you can see i'm just hold up for a second that's good um, just to describe that out quickly for those that are listening joe yeah you've so a, a graph in terms there, of, yeah. so down on the is it called the cross the axis the, the axis the cross the the, the the vertical line um you've got trust high trust and you've got high cooperation um but if you've got you've got so if you've got on one side the high to low low to high yeah and on the across axis you've got low to high if you've got low low trust and low cooperation you get defensive win lose that's when you know if you present an idea and then someone wants to trump that idea say oh, i don't really like that i'm going to do this that's when you you don't get anywhere because you're trying to win and they're going to lose right we talked about win lose in the previous episode so it is about everyone trying to get to a win-win scenario because then we can build and build and build even if we, if we disagree how can we then get to a win-win so everyone's getting a, getting something out of it then there's the middle part where it's the trust where it's like in the middle of trust and in the middle of cooperation sort of the middle part of this this diagram um, which is called respectful compromise now that still can work but the things you're compromising um, 
you know, you might be giving in just for the sake of, oh, what's want to agree, right? So it's about shaping ideas and shaping conversations so you're still bringing the best of your idea to actually build something that's better than what you thought of in the first place through those disagreements and challenges, right? And that last step of this is the high level, high trust and high cooperation where you get the, they call it synergistic win-win. And that's what you're aiming for. I'm not saying that's easy. I'm just going to just display that again. So that's, that's really where it is. So if you are listening, you might be worth going to the YouTube channel and just having a look at that. 